Last time out in Italy, there was action aplenty. The Ferrari breaking hard now from a long way back. Into, oh, there's a lot of feeling in this race. And now the Bollards get shoved out the way. So that's two turns and two pretty significant incidents. The points battle between Simmons and Muggleton intensified. It's another win from pole position for the Mercedes. Give it to Josh Muggleton in race number one here at Monza. Today we race for championship glory at the famous Circuit de la Sarthe. Who will be crowned the inaugural Speed Week E-Series champion? The fast, the fierce, the unafraid to make the sacrifices, take the risks, endure the hardships and bring a fighting strength and spirit to every race. These eight gentlemen around me are some of the finest contenders we could have asked for to launch Speed Week's inaugural E-Series. One of them will leave today with the title and the trophy. Welcome to the fourth and final round of Speed Week's E-Series. We've been to Mount Panorama Bathurst, Suzuka Circuit Japan and Monza in Italy. Now it's time to kick things off as our drivers tackle Circuit de la Sarre. But before that, let's get to know a man who has truly made his presence felt this series, and that's our gamer, Simon Feigl. I'm Simon Feigl, I'm 33 years old from Melbourne. My lifestyle now as a gamer is it's, it's pretty intense. I'm also a, a team owner, so the Ultra Sea Sports is a team that I own and run. Uh, we have uh, a number of guys in our team which are really strong in the iRacing world and we, we compete in world championships both on dirt sprint cars as well as uh, in Blancpain GT style racing as well. So um, yeah, it's, it's pretty intense, it's, it's just constant every, you know, every week there's activity going on. So um, a lot of activity as a, both a driver and also as an owner. Whilst I do have my driving aspirations, it's also about growing the team that I've got as well and the great bunch of guys that I have as part of my group. So um, a big part is really just as, as eSports and sim racing expands is to, to further um, my team's presence and also just to, to you know, where, where eSports is heading, where we want to be in a position where of, of strength. To be part of the Speed Week E-Series is, is a real honour. I was, um, was honoured to be invited um, you know, from the GT Academy experience. So um, I'm really honoured to be here. We've got a great bunch of guys that we have um, here competing. Always knew it was going to be competitive. Um, so I'm really, really happy to be here. I'm really pleased to, um, to have, have got that invite. It's great. It's great. absolutely fantastic racing against uh, guys like Matt and Josh, um, who you know we've raced for many years now. Um, I mean, Josh was part of the 2010 GT Academy, as was I. So eight years now, um, on and off racing, so um, it's always good to race against familiar foes. Time to whip into qualifying here for the final race of the Speed Week E-Series for 2018. A whopping 3 minute and 58 kind of lap around this circuit, nearly 14 kilometres in duration. And the first time going across the line there, going to Matt Simmons and clawing it at four tenths away from the glory time, 358.6. The McLaren 650S of Simon Feigl. Keep an eye on him today in the final race. The big McLaren should be enough, but not getting the business done here in the last qualifying session of 3 minutes 59. He's back. Congratulations, Matt Simmons. Pole position and when it really counts. Yeah, the pressure was on. It was um, trying to be cautious, but not trying to get a penalty, but get a quick lap. So I was stoked to get pole, but it was really close with Josh. So I'm looking forward to the race. You've increased your lead by just one point. <laughs> going into the final race of the series, competition is going to be tight. Yeah, it's always fun to bring it down to the wire. So it's, uh, it's been a good battle throughout the series. So I'm looking forward to the final race and seeing who comes out on top. All right, well, all the very best. It is almost race time. Uh, we are going to get to know our pro driver, Luke King, a little bit, and then the race begins at Circuit de la Sarthe. I'm Luke King. I'm 28 years old from the central coast of uh, New South Wales. 
coming from a real race car to a simulator, um, I find it's it's a bit harder to get into the zone um, because when you're out in the race car, you've got the noise, the feel, the sound, everything's going through your body, you know, like you're nervous. Um, there's a lot of different elements happening. Whereas when you jump on the sim, it could just be in your living room, you know. So trying to get yourself into the zone and that level of concentration that you need um, is probably the most difficult thing. Competing against guys that have been doing this every afternoon for, you know, the last 10 years or whatever it may be, it's kind of a bit nerve-wracking, I suppose. As one of the, the pro drivers, you kind of expect it to be straight up there. Um, so look, I'm looking forward to the competition and at the end of the day, it would be like me coming into a new championship in, you know, whatever it may be and you've got to try and beat the top guys. My achievements over the years, um, while I probably um, don't rate them as highly as what other people do, um, they're still pretty up there from a, a kid that's pretty much come from nothing really. Um, We've been Australian Endurance uh, Champion in the Australian Production Car Series. I've raced open wheelers for three years in Australian Formula Ford and we were one of the, the fastest privateers in the country back in 2015. Um, so, you know, those two on their own have been really good and um, now up until this point we're racing the Toyota 86 Series um, support category to the V8 Supercars and uh, we've been race winners, lap record holders, uh, we've been on pole a couple of times, so now 2018's our time to, to win the championship. And here is the grid for race number one. Matt Simmons did what he had to do. He's clawed back one point to make the margin nine now between himself and Muggleton, who's on the front row. Simon Feigl, Jake Blackhall, Luke King. Back to Ayukai Collins and Joel Dimack for race number one here at Circa de la Sarthe, otherwise known as Le Mans, the big daddy in world endurance car racing as these drivers get set to go racing here today. It's four laps. When you think about this circuit, at 13.6 kilometres around, it's a long way around. Lap times, just a whisker under four minutes. But today, there is a twist. There's a compulsory pit stop that needs to be performed during this race. And that will add just another twist to how this series will play out. We're underway in this race around Le Mans, and Matt Simmons, the usual suspects out in front, the first four have got a bit of a margin as they weave their way around into the first set of S's. This is the Dunlop S's, and everybody sets into a bit of a groove down underneath the famous Dunlop Bridge into the right-hander. Just see already, Muggleton needs to know, needs to go if he wants to win this series. He's pushing the big jag along through the right-hander, through Tetra Rouge and along this massive long straight from this point onwards. Hold on and enjoy the ride. He's right on the back of him already. The McLaren just sitting in the background. The two series leaders going at it here, side by side. Did he pull out early enough? Or was he just showing his hand early in this race? Looks clear from this point of view, but there's the jag. He hasn't got enough in a straight line at the moment. And we'll tuck back into the slipstream. Past all these historical houses that line the Circuit de la Sarth circuit here in France. Into the S's, the McLaren. See back in third of Simon Feigl. Black hole in fourth, ahead of King in the Ferrari. A Yukai the GTR, then Collins and Dimac. Here's the second verse as the Mercedes pulls out on the Jag. Sun and Shadows really testing these drivers here today. They stay side by side. The straight that goes on and on and on before we get down to a really tight right-hander. But first, we work our way through a recent addition here at Le Mans to slow these cars down, which really didn't help in the end, did it? There's another battle brewing now for third and fourth position. So with the length of this straight, expect to see multi-car battle packs, but this is the one we want to watch. We'll take a split screen here now as the McLaren is about to be passed. At the same time, the Mercedes is doing the same to the Jag. Look at the brake disc glowing up here. That's the hardest stop so far on this lap. And you can see how easy he can suck these drivers in. At the right hander, he's lost two positions in the process because the Ferrari of Luke King goes ahead of Black Hole now. Long lap around, isn't it? 8.4 miles, 13.6 kilometers. It's as old school as it gets. And again, they go side by side. Expect this to be the forecast for majority of the race. The Mercedes on the outside, sweeps around, good pass, and just gets it done for the time being. 
So Muggleton goes back into the lead. He lost a point during qualifying. Was that one point going to pole position has helped Matt Simmons. So Simmons, right on top of right now, the Jag ahead of the McLaren who's fallen away a bit. Here he is. Behind him is Black Hole. Are we right on board? Through the left hand kink. As we work our way towards the final third of this lap. As we mentioned at the top of this, qualifying times around the 3 minutes 58 mark. Real genuine racetrack, this one. Through the left hander. These first three are just starting to pull away from Black Hole. Luke King who made up a position is still ahead of Ayukai. Those guys have been joined at the hip pretty much since this E-Series started early at Mount Panorama this year. Now coming down towards the final part of the lap. It's a bit busy around here. Crowd watches on now into the final turn and onto the famous straight to complete the first lap. Remember, compulsory pit stop. Tires must be changed. So three cars have decided to come into the pits on this first lap. Get it out of the way now and see if they can make up some time with fresh air around them. Underneath the Dunlop Bridge again. And what's going on here? Is there troubles now for the Mercedes? He's been swallowed up by the McLaren. And race control have just ordered for him to go back. But this is not good news for his series. He cannot let Matt Simmons get too far ahead here. If he wants to stay in contention for the series, he needs to get back up on the back of the Jag. Lap two of four here at Le Mans. So pretty much, whoever wins the race is going to be series champion. And he knows that now, as he just bumps the McLaren along, not literally of course. Down into the right-hander. Making sure there's enough brake pedal down there. They've been virtually flat for the better part of 50 to 60 seconds. He's got good drive out of here now. But do you think Simon Feiger will let him have it for free? Absolutely not. He'll make him work for this position. Feigl pretty safe in third position overall at the moment for the series. That's as close as you like at the moment. As they work their way down towards the second of the chicanes. Push him along once again hear the wind just smash that Mercedes in the face once he pulls out from behind that sleek slippery McLaren 650 which has done a carbon copy of what we saw from the first race going across the curb but they're not letting Matt Simmons get away which is good news for Muggleton he knows he needs to win this if he wants to win the series he has to get past these two guys ahead Meantime, it's still Luke King back and forth. Black Hawk, Ayuka, Collins, and Dimac. The eight cars into the right-hander off the Mulsanne straight. And now, they're setting for another part. And that was an awkward moment for the Mercedes on the exit. And the McLaren now lets him go by. And now he's, I wouldn't say he's got a free kick out of this one, but he needs to really shift it into high gear now, doesn't he? If he wants to chase down Matt Simmons, keep in mind, still a pit stop to come. We know three drivers further down the field have done that, so we'll keep an eye on the progress of where they are in this race soon. Down through the Indianapolis corners of this circuit. Down to Anage, the right-hander. Across the curb, Mercedes just pulled the car up, didn't he? But that gap, and the Jag just starting to become a little bit smaller in the distance. So Matt Simmons continues to lead as we're halfway home here at Le Mans, the final race in the Speed Week E-Series. We'll be back soon. We're back at Le Mans here in the championship deciding race of the Speed Week E-Series. For 2018, we're working our way through the pit stop cycle. We know uh, three cars have come in so far, and now the leaders. Now the leaders have come in at the same time. Fascinating watching these two cars weave their way through. Here come the teams. 
cars are in the lane now and ready. Here comes Simmons. He pulls in first. Our uh, split screen. So both on our screens now. You've got to change tyres in this stop. It's not a case of just stopping and going. And good launch for Simmons. That's a better pit stop than what we saw from the Mercedes and gets a bit of a margin as they both rejoin the race. Put Simon Feigl into the lead ahead of Luke King. Both these guys yet to pit during this race. So Feigl will need to keep an eye on where the McLaren comes in. He'll need to do it on the next lap because time is running out in this final race with that added twist of a compulsory pit stop. First time we've seen that so far in this year's Speed Week E-Series. Oh, big moment, and he just saved it. Just saved it. Did the, the Mercedes on the exit. That could have been championship game set and match right there. But the McLaren, bit of dust out the back through the right hander. That's the cleanest he's been through here today. The big 650S, but still yet to pit. We'll need to keep an eye on where the other two are in relation to this. Luke King is the other car to pit, but he'll be further down the order when this field is cleansed. Nothing but clear track ahead. Trees on both sides. It's like a Sunday cruise for Simon Feigl. Of course, he is heading up the Gamers Championship this year as well, the championship within the championship. Down into the second chicane he goes. You may think, well, he can just cruise right now. The objective here is to go as fast as he can to try and get the overlap when the pit stop cycle comes up. As here comes the leaders on circuit. The two championship protagonists, Simmons and Muggleton. Leading their way down towards. So you're looking at a good 45 seconds here between these two. We hop aboard the Mercedes after that frightening moment. Who picked up the clean sweep, didn't he? Over at the Monza circuit at the previous round. But pretty much since the get-go at Mount Panorama this year, it's been about Matt Simmons. It's been about Josh Muggleton. The brakes certainly have got to work out during this race here today. Lots of high-speed straights, but some significant hard braking points at Circuit de la Sarth. Through the right-hand kink. We'll keep an eye on the pits. We'll see where Feigl, should be almost due to be entering the lane. Heading down towards the Indianapolis turns. And here comes the McLaren now with the Ferrari behind. Big margin behind him, obviously, with the two guys that have pitted. Where will this put Feigl in the scheme of things? You've still got Blackhall, Ayukai, Collins, and Dimak. So Luke King might pop out in that mix somewhere between Ayukai and Collins. There's a bit of overcast conditions in the distance here. Feigl coming around to complete this lap. He'll start the last lap, but the other two will retake the lead. As here comes the McLaren around the final section through the Porsche curves, through Corvette, and the pit entry. We're coming up on the right, and here he comes now. So, the leader, one of the last two cars, Luke King follows him in. Oh, awkward move into the pits then for the McLaren. In he comes, though, with Luke King. King not for a top three position at the moment. In he comes. And what's going on here? There's no movement from the crews. And the McLaren is released, and he's going to come out right in the middle of this group. But I fear race control might have something to say about this. We didn't see any tyres get changed on the McLaren. Hence why he's right on the back of this group of cars. But it will be to no avail. He'll have to cop a penalty for that one. You've got to change tyres during this race. And the McLaren has failed to do it. Push all he likes, I guess, at this point. But now... It'll be between Simmons and Muggleton. Whoever gets across the line here will win the E-Series Championship. It's as simple as that. As we're on the final lap around, Circuit de la Sarthe. King come out in fourth position, so he made up a bit of time and got himself and the Ferrari up into fourth ahead of Blackhall, Ayukai, Collins and Dimac. On this, the final lap. Muggleton must know that this won't be really for position. Needs more. That car is still squirrely. He's tried everything he can 
to get it, Matt Simmons. The second half of the long straight here. Heading down towards the second part. The second chicane. Matt Simmons, who wrapped up the Nissan Nismo GT Academy win back in 2015. As down goes the McLaren on the inside. But remember, race control are keeping an eye on that car right now after the pit stop just a few moments ago. We forecasted this, didn't we, at the start of the year? When Matt Simmons joined this series, he was the guy they'd chase. But geez, Josh Muggleton has really pushed him, just like he's doing to the McLaren now. As close as you like, and yeah, probably just had to get out of it then. It could have been messy into the hard right-hander. We saw in the previous couple of laps around here how red-hot those brake discs were on the Mercedes. So Feigler's running second on the circuit, but expect that to change with just a little under half a lap remaining. Simmons, class act from start to finish. Down towards the next of the complex of corners here into Indianapolis. This is the right hand kink. And into the Indianapolis turns we go. He's pushing the back of the McLaren once again. But he can see this series slipping away at each corner. Because the McLaren is not going to make this easy. And well, he might too, because if race control don't make that decision, he's going to score his best result of the series. They've worked down the back side. A few turns remain. And the Mercedes cruising back here a bit. He's hanging back from the McLaren. What's going on here? Down around past the Michelin signs on the right-hand side. Down towards the Corvette turns. Just a series of left and right chicanes. Not really many passing opportunities until we get down to the Ford S's, which we're heading towards now. A couple of turns remain for Matt Simmons. And victory, not only here at Le Mans, but victory in the Speed Week E-Series. It's into the final turn he comes and will come out to take the chequered flag. He fist pumps the sky and Matt Simmons wins the final race and wins the Speed Week E-Series in 2018. Great drive, Simon Feigl second, but has been put back after not performing that pit stop with changing tyres, so he goes back to third. Muggleton will have to settle for second. Luke King, fourth overall here at Le Mans, ahead of Yukai, Blackhall, Collins, and Joel Dimack. But well done to Matt Simmons, collecting the championship by 16 points over Josh Muggleton. It's seesawed between Monza and Le Mans. Feigl will finish third overall ahead of Blackhall, Ayukai, King, Collins, and Dimack. Well, what a race. I am lost for words. It was nail-biting from start to finish. Simon Feigl placing third. You have just been stellar across this whole series. You've got to be happy with third place. Yeah, I am. Uh, it would have been nice to have battled a little bit more um, with these guys. It's just that, that tight spit behind pretty much the whole way, actually. I was Mr. Third, so uh, except for one race. But uh, <laughs> it was good fun nonetheless. You brought some fierce competition. Well done, Simon. And Josh Muggleton. Oh, what a solid effort over this series also. I'm sure second is not the outcome that you would have been hoping for. You were side by side with Matt at the start, but you've just done amazingly. Yeah, you never want to finish second being a racing driver, but um, no, Matt deserves it. He did an awesome job all championship and put it all together. And yeah, he's a deserving winner. Oh, that's very nice of you. Congratulations on a solid effort. That does bring us to the winner of round four and our overall E-Series champion. Put your hands together for Matt Simmons. <laughs> and this. What a... I am lost for words, Matt. It has been incredible watching you racing that race was huge. Talk us through it from start to finish. Yeah, it was awesome. The battle Josh at the end to make it a nail biter. We're going side by side down the straights so for the first lap. It was just intense. So it was, you know, full credit to Josh. He was right, you know, the pressure was on. So he was he was delivering right up to the point. So yeah, I just somehow hang on and it was uh, it was pretty cool, rewarding to, to win the series. Yeah, hey, congratulations on the race, but also congratulations on being our E-Series champion. What's next for Matt Simmons? 
Oh, like this has been amazing to be a part of this with everyone here, to be part of the first series for Speed Week and with PlayStation GD Sport. So hopefully there's another series to come and we can uh, hopefully, you know, do it again. Uh, but yeah, it's been amazing and we'll see what comes out in the future. In the overall points, pro drivers get the job done here today. 537 to the pro game is 401. Matt Simmons collecting it for the pro drivers. And Simon Feigl winning for the pro game is convincing winner over Jake Blackhall in this first ever Speed Week E-Series. Well, what a series. A stellar effort all round by all our competitors. When we started back in round one, we didn't know what we would uncover. Our gamers want to get in a race car. Our professional drivers want to stand up and own the racing scene. This show has shone a light on both the changing world of motorsport, but also the ability of these talented competitors. We look forward to seeing you next time on Speed Week's E-Series.